Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I am Big Mathis and today we are going to turn this uh, manual blaze farm into an automatic blaze farm and make it so that you can get all the experience and blaze rods you need while sleeping. Let's go ahead and first things first I want to make a correction from the last video and I'll put a link in the description to that video. But the big correction is this is supposed to be a one hit kill they drop down and you punch them and they die and in the last video something went wrong at the last minute and I couldn't figure out what it was this thing to save space I turned it one block sideways added one one redstone dust right here added just enough time to make these guys a three hit kill make me look like a fool on camera now nah, that would be my own fault and as you can see now it works perfectly it's very important that we get them down to that that way we don't have any mad blazes flying in our face while we're not watching so first thing we need to do is turn that thing straight and everything should be working beautifully next thing we want to do is we want to get these bad boys out of our face so we're gonna go up here we're gonna grab ourselves a piston and a bucket of lava and we're going to get one of these blocks right here. Now we got to find the center of this farm. Oh, there it is. You can tell it's the blocks that come all the way up. You break the top block, it should be solid underneath of it. And we want to come out two. Boop, that's one. And we want to come out two blocks on either side. And we want to drop lava in that hole. And then coming out this way, we want to put a sticky piston. Just like so. We drop our lava in there, get our sticky piston in on this side, drop our lava in, cover these up so nobody gets hurt, put a block on top of each one of these pistons, bring a line of redstone dust out, do 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 do, boop 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 boop. Now later on, let's get, temporarily we'll grab ourselves a torch. We don't need it right now, but I'll show you how this thing works. Right now, you see the lava has dropped down. It's covering every corner, every space in there. To bring the light level up to a point where that thing does not like it. Will not spawn any of those little pesky guys. If you were to want it to activate again, you just put that there. Pushes out the block, stops the lava from flowing, clears it all up, makes it dark in there, and there they go. For the sake of what we're doing today, we want to take that out. Let that lava flow, stop everything from happening. Later on, once we get this whole situation down here taken care of, we'll have a torch stack coming up right in this corner, which will come out, turn that, pull those uh, pistons back in just like they are now. Let the lava flow, kill all the spawning. All right, right now we had in that last video, this was glass going all the way up, just like so. In my testing, I found that every once in a while, a blaze would come down and spawn and would be able to see you through the action of this piston. And by the time he got down there, he would be mad. He would make all of his friends mad. You'd have a whole mess of guys standing down here just waiting to tear your face off. Um, turned into a bad situation farm would work for about an hour and a half two hours and the next thing you know you're dead you wake up in the morning you're dead you're sad everything's bad so it's a little bit of efficiency gone in the farm but it's totally worth it we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna get rid of this it's not that big of a deal i didn't notice any real slowdown of the farm uh, where'd you come from get out of here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these guys. We shouldn't have any more spawning up there. We're going to clear this out and give us room to work. Boom, 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 boom. We don't need any of this nonsense. You staring at me again? You want trouble? Get out of here. All right. So we want to go down two blocks from this and right 
underneath of here we want these guys to fall down and land right in this section so we want to make sure we want to get a couple of slime blocks we want to, we want to make sure that they are right behind that row just like that boom boom two of them we want one to block space give them a chance to fall down and then we want to put one sticky piston originally I had two look like a fool you don't need to let's go ahead and grab ourselves a furnace as you know with slime blocks you want to make sure that you put something next to them that they can't push a furnace a dropper a dispenser obsidian this being the cheapest a cobblestone everybody has tons of cobblestone where'd you come from okay so we want to make sure that when these when that piston extends if there's any blocks around this thing that are not something that the block can't pull it'll stop the uh, slime blocks from pulling back in it'll stop the blazes from dropping down completely stopping your farm it won't stop the spawning you'll get 300 400 blazes right here just standing on top of those blocks server crashes or your computer crashes wake up in the morning everybody's sad we just don't want to be sad all right we want to close this off just like so we want to leave it open from there forward because they're going to drop down right here we can put in regular blocks at this height <clears throat> now what that's going to happen they're going to crush 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 this is going to pull out drop down boom it's going to knock them out they're going to come over two blocks just like that and then they're going to drop down we want to put a furnace there at this level we want to put another piston and another slime block which is why we put that furnace in there cover this up they're going to stand here and die which of course is why we built this platform at this height get rid of that let's go ahead and take one more out of there because that's where we're going to put a chest or we're going to put our uh, whatever item elevating system we want if you want to take your items up to anywhere for now i just have a chest here it's easy enough to come down to later on but we want to make sure we get 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 we want to put all this covered up with blocks that can't get hit or can't get pulled then we need to put in an ice block right here cover this up jump around like a fool Boop, right there so they're gonna drop they're gonna get pushed over and they're gonna drop down in this hole and you're gonna be standing right up underneath of there looking down waiting for a potion to be pushed into your hand you're gonna have something sitting on the key that's gonna keep your your second button pushed and you're gonna throw a potion at them they're all gonna die all their blaze rods are gonna go in here and then this block is gonna push them across into this hole where behind you there's going to be a chute coming up bringing the xp right to you right there just like snow crash's donut in the uh, gold farm to get our last uh slime block back we're going to put that right on top of that now that is going to attach to this ice block it's no big deal it's going to push up it'll force any experience the experience will fly across that ice but anything that happens to get stuck on this block when this moves up we we'll either force the experience back or forward that way nothing gets stuck there there's no issues we can fill this in then we want to make sure just like before we get our furnaces in here just like so we don't want this farm to stop for any reason it causes all kinds of havoc as i've discovered and then we're going to bring this up you can bring it up with anything you want it doesn't matter um, I chose glass for a little bit of the way so that we can put some light in there we can see the blazes moving around everything look nice no problems put some glass in there like that put one in there we just want to leave this two gap open push them over drop them down and then it's important that 
we have a solid block on this level because we're going to take a iron trap door and put it on the bottom of do, 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 do. Sorry, this level one block above this we want to put it right on the bottom of that So when they come over, they're going to get pushed down, and if uh, by any chance any of them get aggravated and they want to come kill you, or they want to rip your face off, they can't get past this trap door. They're stuck here. And when you throw the next potion down, you'll see that this trap door activates just before the potion gets released into your hand. Trap door opens, throw the potion down, trap door closes, nothing can get past. Now, we want to put a block there. And then this, you can like, once again, you can put glass, you can put solid blocks, whatever you want. You're not going to be looking down this side. There's really no point in making this one pretty. It's going to be behind you the whole time. Cover this all up. Make sure none of that experience gets out. You want it all coming up to you. We can take all this straight up. Here we go. Now you got to be careful if you don't know you got one ice block down here you want to make sure there aren't any light sources or lava or anything near it or it will melt hopefully that this lava lake isn't too close looks like we're okay it's still intact put some glass coming up and what i did to keep some of the spawning down inside of there which there shouldn't be any anyway but it also makes it look pretty and you can see better what's going on put some glowstone behind here hopefully I didn't, yeah, I didn't put that in the wrong spot all right now our kill chamber we're literally gonna be standing right here so underneath of us we're gonna have a block of soul sand under us and that's what you're gonna be standing on right here and underneath of that we're gonna have a hopper coming out this way and that's gonna catch we're gonna have a potion we're gonna have a dropper right here throwing potions in at us and if we don't pick any of them up it'll get picked up through the soul sand we don't waste it everything's good to go we can close this up We're going to put a door there. Last couple of blocks. And didn't I just say we're going to put a door there? A couple of solid blocks here. The last step we're going to have is we're going to take an iron bar. We put it up one block so that the experience can come up, but you don't fall down. Same thing on this side, you put one there. Now just in case, right across from there, we're going to put right there. It will not connect to the hopper, so we're going to put another iron bar there just as a precaution to keep any blazes that, if any of them for some glitchy reason, you know, everybody knows how Minecraft is, for some glitchy reason a blaze comes through that trap door, they'll get stuck under here and they won't fly up to your face, give you a little bit of extra chance of of surviving not that I expect anything to get through it should be pretty safe oh, iron door they're under redstone drop ourselves an iron door in there get us a button let us out put a button on the inside outside just so we can get in and that is the build now the only thing left is redstone we are going to start with the redstone circuiting on this easy side where we're just going to bring the signal down from this clock right here down to these pistons. We're going to start by putting a full block in here and bringing the signal down. You got to put a full block in there because you can't bring the signal down with a half slab. We're going to drop down two steps like that. Come out two blocks, one with a redstone dust and one with a repeater on one tick. And we're going to put our sticky piston there that makes our pulse limiter where the signal comes in and when that extends it allows one tick of power through then it cuts it off on this side we want to put a repeater on four ticks and we're going to put a furnace on there so that that slime block can't pull it and we're going to come straight out from there to here with some redstone dust 
And if we watch, that should now power this. As soon as that retracts, it'll push back out. And then a second later, boom. And then push the blazes across. If you find that, that timing's not right, you can always drop in a, a little delay right there, just like that. Then from there, we're going to drop down one straight out and come out sideways one block and then drop down to this level and then one more down from there redstone dust on all of these and then we cut across two blocks and then turn this way where we put a second delay on there to slow down pushing these across and then pushing the experience out come out over to here take the signal both ways at which point we're going to drop it down and catch up with that right there put a repeater on in there bring that signal up bam just like that block too many there we go and that should complete our whole circuit if we can get our friends out of the way here we can take a look somewhere in here and when we drop those in there we can put a little bit of delay on this side a little trial and error here get your timing right there you go that pushes the experience across then bumps it up right afterwards taking that block with it to squeeze the experience out on either side like we were talking about watch it one more time boom boom just like that I'm gonna go ahead and extend that delay out to max there just to make sure everything works right and that is it for all the uh, all the magic on this side the next step would be to add in our dropper system for the potions and our little bit of a storage system. We're going to put a dropper facing in to where we're going to be standing and one up from here. We're going to put a hopper in the back of that dropper and that one. We're going to stack this up three high going straight up and then one coming out this way. On top of this hopper, put a double chest. That's where we're going to store our potions. Come out into the end of that. This is a little buffer zone. Make sure we have a little extra storage. Wrap it around. Get it into that chest. And personally for me, I put another double chest on here just to keep uh, plenty of extra storage in there. Cover that up so nothing falls into it. Cover this one up. What we need now is our power circuit to control that dropper stack. So we're going to put a comparator in here to compare when there's anything into that dropper power coming out solid block we're going to come out on both sides with three half slabs on this side we're going to reset the comparator and on this side we're going to power our torch stack that's going <laughs> there we go make sure you put this on at least two ticks or else you'll get torch burnout put our stack going up we can put a stack of blocks in here. We can watch them disappear. They're going to go up through here. Nothing's getting stuck. I'm going through this system. And they should be collecting into here. Just like that. Let's go ahead and empty it out. We don't want any extra blocks in here. Only our potions. Make sure the system's empty. Do -do -do. Check that. Check that. Check over in these hoppers. Chest everything should be empty that way later on when we are set up for our AFK if a block comes into our hand that's not a potion it's gonna stop us from throwing them again we're gonna get blazes built up down there and we're gonna crash the whole system so now that, that works all you have to do is brew your potions keep filling up into here till you have as many as you need and you should be good to go alright for this timer we're going to start with this block right here this is where we're going to build our etho hopper timer our standard one come out put our comparator here and then we're going to put 
Uh, our hoppers facing into each other at this point. Coming out from this, on this side, we need another comparator that's registering that side. We're going to put our block, redstone dust, both sides. Put our uh, pistons on there, our redstone block. That completes our etho hopper timer. That's just a standard build. We're going to put two half slabs. Make sure these are half slabs because you don't want these picking up the signal from that. There we go. Put a block here. We're going to put our start building our second hopper timer here. This this one is going to control this one. Every time that this one cycles through completely, it will allow one block to transfer through this one when this blinks. When this shifts, this will blink, allow one block through, thus extending our time. We want to put that right there put one on this side once again we put our comparators there come out of those with the full block put a half slab in front with the redstone dust then we need our pistons and our redstone block just like that there we've completed both of these coming out of this one we want two full stacks and then 22 whoops that's that'll give us the time we need so we're going to drop these three into there and then into this one we're going to do 10 just like that so when these blocks cycle through, again, when they all shift through, it'll shift this over, blink in this light, allow one block through. And once all 10 go, we're going to activate our circuit that's going to drop out our potion and flip our trap door. Let's go ahead and we want to blob out two full blocks. Redstone dust on both of those, and we're going to drop down one. Redstone dust, drop down again, going this way. Redstone dust. Coming over here, we're going to put our repeater on. And this is where our next uh, pulse limiter is going to be. That's going to allow that to shoot out, not hold power, and allow this thing to flip down. Once we get to this point, uh, come on, get around here. All right, we're going to come through there. We're going to get another full block remember we have to have our piston coming out of there we're going to put that on three ticks we're going to come over from there straight into the block that's going to be powering our trap door so now we need to add in our pulse extender we don't want that thing to flip open and then close again real quick we want it to have a little bit of delay time give us time to throw our potion down there and then have it close again so we just put a two comparator uh, pulse extender on there just to keep it open just a little bit and right now we can do this we're not going down anymore we can go ahead and switch over to half slabs once again we need to make sure we have our repeater coming out of here a little bit of a tick delay on there and we're going to come over come up one this way come up from there uh, get rid of these blocks what we want to do is we want to come all the way in to this block right here just like that so we're going to come out this way bring our little uh, half slab ladder up over this way make sure we meet up right in the middle dust all of these all the way across and uh, it's simple as that we should be done now when this uh, clicks over pulse limiter allows one little pulse to come through comes up here shoots that potion comes over here opens the trap door closes it if we were to take out these blocks 
we can see this in action. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these. Hopefully that's not too fast. See, it's open, close a little bit of delay, open, close. This one comes across, it's gonna fire off the dropper. It's gonna shoot our potion out to us. Can't get through a door. If we put some blocks in there, boom. So when you're standing here, once the 10 minutes goes by, you should have anywhere from 60 to 100 blazes in there. You have an open slot in your bar, you put a something on a key on your keyboard that you have set to activate your potion throwing and as soon as it goes into your hand it'll throw it it'll kill those blazes all the rods will go down that hopper all the experience will come back over here and come up into you all we have to do at this point is build ourselves a little floor to work on here a little access point to get back to everything we want to well, I have a little potion brewing area here so I can fill this up. You want to build this your floor any way you want, however your area allows you, whatever you want it to look like. Um, one thing that you're going to want is a kill switch. You don't want this timer going all the time. So you put a little kill switch on here. Come across. Bring one redstone dust down from that. So if you want this to be manual instead of automatic, there you go, that should open your trap door in there and then you can go in and throw the potions anytime you want. Stops the, the timer, doesn't throw any at you. The only other thing we need is our torch stack coming up to activate the lava drop. And all you do is you find out where this corner is. Bring your blocks down. Like so. Fill this in. You're going to start alternating your torches every other block. Like this, going all the way up. It should not interfere with. Look at that, we're missing some random redstone. It should not interfere with your farm. Because this one's off. When you have it on, you don't want your farm active anyway. Keep going up. Torches all, all the way up to the top. Depending on which way you have your lever, you put your lever on. Normal state, when you turn it off, it'll come up. And this torch should be powered, which allows that to have signal. So you want to put another torch on there, inverted, and there you go. That should kill your farm. Put a repeater in there, just make sure the signal strength is powerful enough. Come down here, flip the lever, come up. Blazes start spawning. They're going to drop down. They're going to get crushed. Let's go ahead and watch a couple of these. This is... If you were any lower than this level right here, you wouldn't get any blazes spawning. I've tried a half slab on here, and it's just low enough that nothing happens here. And if you watch, after a couple minutes, you should start getting blazes down in here. They're going to get crushed through this crusher. Which there is no reason that I know of that you can't have a piece of glass in here so you can watch them. He's going to go down into the crusher, get crushed to a one hit kill. He's going to drop down into there, get pushed over with those slime blocks and sit there ready for you to go. And if I had this thing in automatic mode, that trap door would be down. There you go. Sit right there. You get a potion, kill him, and that's it. That's the whole farm. Tidy up your area, make it look pretty, fill up your potions, and you are good to go. Thank you very much for watching my video and have fun killing blazes.